Let's put this in full. There's sound. I think if you're adding sound, you're gonna have to add sound right there. Just odd that there's no sound happening. And then these steps seem to be the off-screen steps, but then I don't know, they keep going at the same. I'm being picky about the sound here, but For some reason, because it was stepped at the beginning, I thought those. So he's, he's going to put the legs up and down and hit the couch, and those are just the sounds. But you need to let me know if those sounds are added or if that's part of the overall audio as one piece all merged together. Because you could do something where you could have. I'm throwing things out there before going to the critique. Um, imagine the whoever came home. I mean, it could be could be really big feet coming in here the legs and then stopping here and that's why he looks there you know imagine these are just massive foreground elements that are totally dark almost blurred and then with the sound you know got the steps comes in stops then continues so imagine you know two big stumps of legs here i don't know if even the shoes could be but you have to do foot roll and everything but i'm curious if it could just be a Sulex coming in, stopping, turning, he looks, and then continues. Now, that being said, I like the idea. Um, I'm, I'm just wondering if we can do more with it. It's going to be one of those critiques where I feel like that's cool. Cool beginning. If I turn the sound off, we have all of this. That's definitely good. Kids definitely lean in. They rotate the, the controls around. They lean in with the body. I think that's pretty cool. All that makes sense. The only thing I would say during all of this, till here, you can you can see how he's pretty much in the same position. Yes, there are some changes, but it could be something where he might start here, playing, you know, laying, and then he leans forward because he's really into it and brings his legs up. Just get a, a bit more contrast. And it's almost like, <gasps> when this happens, like he just got into a really good spot. He was kind of playing and he got, you know, maybe the boss level is about to get done. And then oh, this happens. Now, the weird thing is. Okay. Yeah, so you have that, but you throw the controller, which is very thin here, over. We barely see it, then it just goes away. So I will make sure that it's rotating the other side as well. So you have a full glimpse of what's going on. And that would also make it thicker. Just cheat and make it a big Xbox control. You can make it black. Something we can really understand what's, what is he throwing. And then after that, when he grabs the remote, again, we can barely see it. And then it's so thin, we can't really see it here. And then with that silhouette, you know, if you just take the set out, hit seven without lights, I mean, it's basically, you know what I'm doing here, right? You have that as your, as your, you know, my crappy silhouette, but that's basically what we're seeing. Imagine it would be in a different hand and now you have that as a silhouette. You know, he might argue, well, he's a lefty. Maybe he switches it over. It might not be, you know, the most time-saving um, thing, but then he could just be really rotating over because he's already thinking about going somewhere else, and that's why he rotates the whole arm over, so that shoulder here, arm, that, and we can see maybe it's almost like the back of his head almost because he's doing a couple of things at once. You mean, like, he doesn't have to look and click he knows that this button is going to turn it off so imagine he actually already wants to go there this is just an in-between where i gotta do this but i'm already turning to jump or do something else i think that could be something this in terms of the mechanics with something like that it would have a bit of a plump plump would be cute to have like a second plump and it almost slides towards the book so it doesn't feel so and then that's it. Those impacting the legs. Something a bit more interesting in that. And then he reads. Looks at whoever came in. And it continues. So basically I'm narrating what's going on. So my thing is. I like it. I like the idea. But it seems a bit 
it's almost a bit simple. I mean, you could just push the personality a bit more. So like I said at the beginning, what if he really gets into playing? Then he gets interrupted. And what if that... I don't know if you, I mean, you know, you have, you have control over the length of the shot. So what if he has that? <gasps> and he has a quick louver. <clears throat> like he's mad. Like, ah, I was, I was doing so well. Or like, oh, man. Something like, okay, he gets interrupted. He's playing games. How does that affect him? You mean, is he going to be mad, happy, whatever it is, right? Then I'm going to throw this away while grabbing the remote and getting over there. As much as I like the scramble and the jump, is there anything in there? And this is the typical, you know, Royal Reese. Anything we could do to make this a bit more interesting and a bit more personality driven? Is this something where he's done this before? Because he seems to be like a kid who, you know, oh, I've probably done that before. Is there something where... He could, you know, is that control controller somewhere? So it's not just throwing it, but he throws it because he knows it's going to bounce and then lands on the charging dock or something. And then maybe he doesn't just go over there. He's, he's a bit of a sly fox. You know how he has like, hey, hey guys, what's going on? What if it's not just a jump? Again, I'm, I'm totally changing. I'm not saying you should do that. But what if he grabs this and... He doesn't do this, this here, but he grabs the remote and then basically, because he has such a massive head, he puts his head down here and does almost a roll like this, <laughs> cartwheel. And with that roll, you free up the silhouette for the remote. He, then he chugs the remote and lands here maybe. And then as he's done rolling, he could be, again, I'm totally changing it. He would roll and then that book would roll on top of him and he would be sitting, elbow here, you know, legs crossed. Hey, I'm I'm just I'm just learning. I know this is more kids like than what I just drew with like legs crossed, but basically my point is, is there anything we can do to make this potentially a bit more interesting? Subjectively, you might think, no, this is awesome. I don't want to change it. If you don't want to change anything, my main comment would be that it's just very long. This is 14 seconds. So you have playing playing still playing and then this this is five seconds in i think we could easily all right all right okay oh, eh, like something two seconds later the doorbell rings two to three seconds i think we can shorten this by half almost right then he goes oh i gotta get over there click, click. okay ba -boom. Da, 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 da. hey guys see that goes way too long for me as well i would take a second or two out of that and then he goes back, and then when he goes back, is again, da, 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 and cut. So it's almost like you want to cut here. He looks over, hey guys, yeah, what's up? And then that's the cut, or he does this, and since he goes back, we have to assume that nothing's going to happen to him. The parent, the babysitter, whoever is going to keep walking, or both parents, whatever, the partners, whoever is in there watching him. And what if he, after this, the eyes go even more, showcasing that, because imagine we don't have audio, showcasing that they keep walking and he, he quote-unquote won. And then he has a bit of a, either a, whew, made it in time, or ha, 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 evil smile. I mean, like, after he tricked him, how does he feel about it? Is he a turd? Is he evil about it? Is he just, oh, man, I just maybe I shouldn't do that next time? Like, whatever. I feel like we just want to have a bit more in terms of a personality read on him. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. So throwing out a couple ideas. I know it's very destructive in terms of changing stuff. But I would love for this to be slightly more potentially interesting than this. Even if you do this and it's a jump. And then because of that, that fa -bong, maybe he has to do math or something. And there's a pencil. And the pencil goes. He goes, oh, I will almost get caught because of that super pencil. And then he grabs it. And because of that, he has to change the pose again. And then he's in a specific pose, how he just caught the thing, goes, hmm, maybe draw something in the air, licks the tip of the pencil, it goes back to writing, you know what I mean? Like something where it's not just, oh, they're here, I'm jumping, I'm safe. Like there's one more thing where we might think that, oh, he's still going to get caught. Oh, he did not get caught. Something like that, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Throwing out some ideas, you can let me know how you want to proceed. All right, thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.